what up what up what up this your boy jb coming right back at you welcome back to the channel just getting ready to do some long form content for the week but i want to talk i want to jump on and talk about has shannon sharp lost ocho guys i don't know if y'all have seen it man but it's been all over the internet how chad ocho cinco was late getting to nightcap to do his his shoot to do their recording to do their live and shannon sharp lost it Guys, I got to tell y'all right now, I think this is the beginning of the end. And what I like about Ocho Cinco, he said, man, I'm not changing who I am for you. Because I think what's happening right now to all the nightcap, just like Shannon Sharp found out with Skip Bayless, that he has value. Ocho has learned that part of that nightcap audience, he has a lot of value. There's a lot of people who want to hear from Ocho without Shannon Sharp interrupting. And don't get me wrong, guys, they're a great tandem. But it is nightcap with Shannon and Ocho. And if Shannon feels like there's a superiority complex, I think it's time for Ocho to walk. Because Shannon shouldn't be able to correct Ocho because he's late. Okay, Shannon, go ahead. Start the show. Do your thing. Y'all are two grown men who have grown men who have equal billing. Y'all just came off of the tour. And what it lets me know, I think the real issue is Shannon Sharp don't like that Ocho. It's who everybody likes the most. Just like when he was on Undisputed, more people liked him than they liked Skip. And now he's got this hes got this great show called Nightcap. But the only thing, go to the comments when they, when they produce their clips. The only thing people are talking about is what Ocho said. Ocho keeps everybody interested. Why? Because those people like his real unfiltered, comments they like how he lied about everything he resonates with the people because when you're the sh when you're the show moderator you look at it different than when you're the color commentator and ocho is the color commentator and he has more connection with the people on nightcap and let's be honest guys ever since shannon sharp did that 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 cat williams interview his club shay shay interviews they've been good but he ain't had a banger since that now y'all talking and that's me i ain't trying to compare myself to shannon but what i'm trying to say to y'all is that all you got to do is look at the views and i think nightcap is what's keeping shannon sharp relevant and the next thing you're seeing shannon sharp is being compared to michael Irvin now since nfl nfl season is back and all of us know what it was like to watch monday's own first take when michael Irvin was going against stephen a smith versus shannon sharp and shannon sharp is feeling the pressure now Look, I think Shannon Sharp does a great job. Club Shay Shay is great. Nightcap is great. But the way you came at Ocho, the way you came at Ocho, and when Ocho said, when he was explaining himself, if y'all are tandem, man, you you ain't got to, we take care of that off camera. We don't, we make a joke out of it and make money and get clicks and get views on camera. We talk about all this other stuff off camera, man, because we equal. But that lets you know, guys, this Nightcap thing, this is Shannon Sharp's thing. And he knows that Ocho has more leverage, has more influence than him. And guys, I can tell you right now, Ocho going to show up and do his job because it's probably contracts there and that kind of thing. But Ocho is getting more shine off a of nightcap than Shannon Sharp is. And when Shannon Sharp had the opportunity to get on him for, for his car having issues and that kind of thing, and Shannon Sharp's trying to get him to move to a different level in life, and Ocho was like, nah, man, I ain't gonna do that. This is the same guy who told us from the beginning, I'm a fly spirit. He eats at McDonald's. He has not bought into that life. He told us he wore fake jewelry. All this kind of stuff. All this stuff that is the antithesis of what Shannon Sharp does. Guys, I think this is the beginning of the end. And I think I think Shannon Sharp better be looking for another co-host for Nightcap. Because I think Ocho has built his own brand. And I think more and more people are looking at how they can grow Ocho. Because Shannon Sharp is already exposed. He's got ESPN on Monday and Tuesday. He's got Club Shay Shay, and he's got Nightcap. There ain't no growth there, but there's a lot of growth with Chad Ochocinco. And I think Shannon Sharp was trying to put Ochocinco back in line, thinking that Ocho has gotten everything he has because of Nightcap. And Ocho don't see it that way. So y'all buckle up because this is going to be good, man. Y'all get down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about Shannon Sharp checking Ocho for being late to the, to the live and being late to the recording. And Ocho's response back is Jeff Crazy or is Jeff on to something. If you hadn't already, mash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notifications. And until next time, I'm going to holler.